topic that I have chosen tonight, I had taken the same topic about a couple of months back. The topic that I have chosen tonight is Jesus the Good Shepherd. Let's turn our Bible to Psalms chapter 23 verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd. Out of this 150 chapters in the book of Psalms, the Psalm 23 is a unique Psalm because it does more tell us about God's protection, guidance and His blessings. It gives hope, boldness and the strength to face tomorrow. This Psalm, as we know, it speaks about the relationship between the shepherd and the sheep. Verse 1 says, The Lord is my shepherd. But rest is not given by any man. Rest is given by? Let us make the Lord our shepherd. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rest is from God and having rest is the grace of God. There are many who are toiling because they have still lots of commitments. Many are able to have early retirements and enjoy their life. It is the grace of God. We cannot compare two people. Two pe per persons cannot be compared. It is all because of the grace of God. Hallelujah. If you are able to have rest, shout a hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. It means he giveth peace and contentment. Whatever he gives, if I don't have contentment, I'll be grumbling. When I didn't have job, I was complaining. When I had job, started complaining. That is not contentment comes from God. Hallelujah. He gives peace and contentment. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 and 29. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Bible says, Seek me, I am meek and holy. And I will give you? Let us look unto that Lord who gives us rest. All of us, we need rest. Why God is giving us rest? To turn back how we journeyed. Who were we when we came to this Kuwait? And who are we now? Nobody came to Kuwait as a chief executive officer, right? We all had a humble beginning. When we didn't have job, we wept. Now God has heard our cry. How much, of, how much we have to stand in the sanctuary and say, Thank you Lord. Hallelujah. It's the grace of God. Many who came then are no more with us. Many came with us. They packed off from here. Many came. They didn't know the Lord. And above everything, we came to know the Lord. We never thought that we will be sitting in this place. This is the grace of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have, how much we have to humble ourselves. It's not because of our merit. It's the grace of God. Hallelujah. God is giving us rest to turn back and say, Thank you. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. I received a lot of benefits. If you, have you ever received benefits from the Lord? So say, let us say that together. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Only when we look back, we will humble ourselves. When we keep running and running, we don't have the time to take rest and say thank you. Keep toiling, running and running. When we look back, we will humble ourselves looking at the way we journeyed in life. How God led us, delivered us and blessed us and brought us to this level of blessing. 10 years behind, 25 years behind, 30 years behind, we all, each one of us, we have lots to say. Looking back, it, to look back, it's not for us to write in our diary and read whenever we have time. God is giving us rest. Of course, writing a diary and reading it is good. But God is giving us rest to say thank you to the Lord. Lord, it's your grace. 
this is the help that you have given us that you enabled us enabled me to work and retire it's the grace of god only that thing god needs from us say thank you to the lord hallelujah hallelujah the lord is my shepherd i shall not want deuteronomy chapter 6 was 11 12 10 11 and 12 the part that the bible say to the israel god say to the israelites 10 11 and 12 and it shall be when the lord thy god shall have brought thee into the land which he swore he swear unto thy fathers to abraham to isaac and to jacob to give thee great and goodly cities which thou buildest not and the houses full of all good things which thou filled fillest not and wells digged which thou diggest not vineyards and olive trees which thou planted plantest not when thou shalt ha- shall have eaten and be full then be beware lest thou forget the lord which brought brought thee forth out of the land of egypt from the house of bondage god is telling the children of israel what i have promised to your forefathers abraham isaac and jacob today many of us we are blessed spiritually materially financially health long life because of the cry of our parents because of the cry of our grandparents so much they prayed that the generations are blessed and what did god say house full of good things what you didn't fill what you didn't toil you are enjoying the wells digged that you didn't that you didn't dig vineyards and olive plants what you didn't plant and what is g- warning that god is giving after enjoying all these blessings beware don't forget the almighty god that brought thee out of the land of egypt they were crying to have a deliverance from the land of egypt god heard and god is telling after having all these blessings don't forget the almighty god bless the lord o my soul and forget not if we continuously run without taking rest we may not have time to look back and say thank you to the lord it's a dangerous game always whatever we have we remain we sustain we grow we have we are alive today it's all because of the grace of god hallelujah, hallelujah. it's not because of any gymnasium of course we have to do ex- ex- not to be lazy like me we we have to go we have to go for health club but that is that does, doesn't give life as brother lobo was telling whatever medically has to be done it has to be done but we remain alive it's because of the grace of god hallelujah he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he le- leadeth me beside the still waters still water where there is calmness where there is peace god has promised us that if we remain connected to him he will give us peace peace i live with you my peace i give unto you not as the world giveth let not your heart be in verse 4 the bible says he restoreth my soul he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness the lord is my shepherd he restoreth my soul he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness he restoreth my soul it means he came to re- release us from bondage he came to set us free he came to set us free from the entanglement or the mess where we are he came to heal the broken in heart god will take that which is broken he will put it together and make it better than it was before god shakes takes the the shattered areas of our life he will glue it with his love and make us strong where we were once weak this is the promise of god's restoration for abundance the bible says he healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up the wounds he sent his word and healed them and delivered them his word has power which will comfort us and restore our soul he leadeth us into the paths of righteousness for his name sake when the lord is my shepherd he will lead when you say the lord is my shepherd 
he will lead his people in the track of righteousness path of righteousness means obeying god's commandments living a life characterized by justice integrity and love verse 4 the bible says edo i walk through the valley of shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me the rod and the staff they comfort me after reading all these three scriptures with which were a source of comfort coming to verse 4 david says a though i walk through the valley of shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me the rod and the staff they comfort me here david doesn't specifically say about any valley but it represents any difficult life experience that makes us afraid especially death david is telling even though i am going through very dark situations and scary situation in my life i am going to put my trust in the lord who will enable me to overcome this valley of shadow of death the bible speaks about many valleys valley of baka it means the valley of weeping valley of ela if you read psalms chapter 84 verse 6 the bible speaks about valley of baka it means the valley of weeping or the valley of tears valley of shadow of death but we read now valley of hebron we read in book genesis chapter 37 in first samuel chapter 17 the bible speaks about the valley of ila in this valley the philistines and the israelites they were fa- they were challenged by they were they were in that valley and the philistines were challenging the children of god and for 40 days goliath came and challenged the children of god even though they were trained soldiers none dared to come and challenge goliath the small boy david he came there he was looked up upon by saul and by his brothers saul offered him david said i will go and fight the goliath he was not a trained warrior but he was a man of prayer he had the anointing of god upon him david saul offered him the shield and spear and sword he said i don't want this i come to you in the name of the almighty god that pebble that did not kill goliath the anointing of god that remained on david that killed goliath hallelujah coming to the last four scriptures three scriptures 4 5 and 6 due to lack of time for thou art with me the rod and the staff they comfort me thou preparest a table for me in the presence of my enemies thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life i will dwell in the house of the lord forever thy rod and the staff they comfort me we see in india through the highways sometimes through when you go through the villages we see the sheep going in a line as if they are very obedient and the shepherd he has a rod in his hand he will control them from either side god is protecting telling that he is giving us protection on the left and on the right the rod and the staff they comfort me and next what he promises thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies thou preparest a table before me a table is an honor or a blessing thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my where is preparing a table before me thou anointest my head with oil anointing from above when you have this what does the next promise comes surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days god is pro- promising us protection from above on the left on the right before and from but if the enemy attacks you from beneath
even though sams if you see in india agriculture crops are destroyed by rats and rodents they they cow out a tunnel they eat the seeds planted by the farmers they destroy the roots the plant may look healthy outside but after after some days it will fall if the enemy attacks us from beneath we don't know whether we are standing in a slippery place our foundation should always be but the bible promises in deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 27 the eternal god is thy refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms and he shall thr- thrust out the enemy from before thee and shall say destroy them almighty god is promising us god is my refuge underneath are is so he is ensuring promise protection for us on every side make the lord his shepherd the bible promises in psalms chapter 20 91 because he has set his life love upon me therefore will i deliver him i'll set him on high because he has set his love upon me therefore will god has also promised i will keep thee as the apple of mine eye so much of protection that god is giving us and before i conclude let's read john chapter 10 verse 27 my sheep hear my voice and i know them and they follow me my sheep listen to my voice i know them and they follow me jesus is that good shepherd we are under his leadership and lordship when you make the lord his shepherd you should be able to recognize his voice read his commandments read the word of god obey his commandments so that goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life may god bless you abundantly with this word let's bow down for the closing prayer and benediction loving heavenly father thank you lord for today's worship lord thank you lord for the grace that you have given us lord hallelujah for attend to our attending today's worship lord help us to remain in you you are our shepherd all the days of our life lord, you, lord. we want to also thank you lord for this week you have given us lord thank hallelujah you, we pray lord you bless us lord we want to come and glorify you during the coming week my master thank hallelujah you, we surrender this new week into your holy and mighty hands cover and seal every brother every sister the whole family lord every family lord shall be covered and be sealed by the blood of jesus christ thank you, jesus. we are expecting great things from the lord because with our god all things are possible Amen. hallelujah in our way back lord you keep us safe as apple of your eye lord thank in our lord. driving in our coming going out lord Amen. in every situation every work of our hand shall be blessed yes, put up our hours shall be ordered by the lord we give you all the glory we bless your holy name Amen. we want to tell you as a church you alone are our refuge and fortress Amen. and high tower yes, you are our rock you are our salvation Hallelujah. you are our healer you are our deliverer lord. You, lord we bless your holy name thank you for Jesus. hearing and answering our prayer Please. in jesus name we pray and ask Amen. may the love of the heavenly father the grace of our lord and see with jesus christ the communion and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forever amen amen victory in the name of jesus victory in the blood of jesus victory in the name of jesus yesu masi ki jai yesu ki laho ki jai yesu masi ki jai yesu ki nawan jai yesu ki ratan jai yesu ki nawan jai may god bless you